right. I had several pieces of this uh, two by 10 lumber left over from our barn stall build out that I'm repurposing for the chicken run. I'll be doing three inch uh, rip cuts and I chose three inches because from the pile that I have, that'll give me enough wood to build out five cages of the chicken run that are about, um, I don't know, about 40 inches long. So it'll be about 20 feet when it's all said and done. So let's get at it. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna begin by doing uh, three inch rip cuts along the length of the boards. And I chose three inch because that leaves me enough lumber to build out five sections for the chicken run. So after making the rip cuts, um, it takes six of these uh, two by threes to create a single section of the chicken run. And so what I need to do now is I need to create four pieces that are 60 inches long, four pieces that are 45 inches long, and four pieces that are 33 inches long. And that'll be, make the frame for the cage. All the cuts out of the way it's time to start assembling the cage so let's get to it all right so now i'm going to have to uh, square up uh, the base here now I know a lot of times to square, you know, some, you know, um, your, your framing, a lot of times you'll just measure at the diagonals and make sure they equal. And then that way you can make sure they're square. Um, I actually prefer digging back into my geometry days and remembering the law of the three, four, five right triangle. And so let's take a look at what that is. So I'll measure a multiple of three inches on this side. So I'll go six inches. A multiple of four inches on this side so i'll go to eight inches and then when i measure across the diagonal it should measure to 10 inches and then i'll maneuver manipulate the wood until it's at 10 inches on that diagonal and then i know i'm square so let's go ahead and measure it out so like i said i start out the, the the three here so i'm at and you got to do it on the outside edge because you want it to be you know you got to have a reference point so there's six inches 
and then I'll measure out to eight inches. And so now when this is square, I can go and see right now it's not a little bit square, it's a little bit off. So it needs to come in a little bit. So this needs to come in that way a little bit. There we are, that's just about perfect. Now, I've been pre-drilling all my screws because I've been having trouble with this lumber splitting. Um, might just be my own inabilities here, but you know what? It works. So with that, let's get going. is perfect. was able to get four of the cages built. I couldn't build five because one of the two by tens was split, so I only had to make four. So let's go take a look what we got. All right, here's the finished product. It's 60 inches long by 48 inches wide by 36 inches tall. And so what I'll be doing now is uh, on the sides here, wrapping chicken wire around it. And then that way I can take multiple of them and set them up side by side and create a nice long run. So time to put some wire on, let's go.
All right, and that's uh, putting together the chicken wire around it. Now I only put it on the one side because on both ends they're open because they're gonna be going up against each other. And then I will have to put some on the end uh, of, the, of the end cap, so to speak. But actually pretty straightforward, a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be, but I'm really excited about it. All right, so that's just about a wrap. I say just about because I guess I made a mistake in the calculation on the amount of chicken wire I needed and I don't have enough to put it on the end of one. So I still have a little bit of work to do, but I'm gonna go ahead and just wrap this video up because that'll just be a lot of the same thing I already showed you, putting the net on. So when it's all said and done, it's about 16 feet long and it's 60 inches wide. So I think um, the uh, chickens will be uh, pretty happy with it.